Lonnie, just going into tonight, just what overall is the team discussion when it comes to this Hawks game and just what it could mean when it comes to the play-in tournament? Um, just, you know, this, these next two games are very crucial, especially against the Hawks, them being ahead of us. Um, and us trying to make the playoffs, make that playoff push. So um, I think we're just, you know, trying to be very disciplined and I'm very aware as far as the game plan and knowing what we have to do because, you know, every possession um, for this game counts. You know, we can't have no screw-ups. We can't have no missteps or nothing. So we all got to be aligned and understand what we're trying to do. When the Nets take on the Hawks, especially this season, it's always entertaining. It's always a battle. It's always a lot of lead changes. What stands out to you about this Hawks team, especially this game without Trey Young? Um, they got a lot of key key players. They got a lot of players who can step up. You know, you got Bogdanovich, who's a heck of a shooter. Um, Dejounte Murray, who, you know, plays great on both ends of the floor. Um, lethal offensively, but very dangerous um, defensively and offensively. Um, you know, you got Clint Capella, who's been killing us as far as offensive glass and offensive board, and you know, giving the team second chance points. So, um, they have great players who, and a, and a whole bunch of great junkyard players as well, who are willing to do the little things and the dirty work. So. Um, it's going to be another grind. It's going to be another testament to our will and our, our men mentality and how we approach the game. But um, it's going to be a battle. What have you seen just from how um, the turnovers have happened these last, I think, two of the last four games you guys have had season highs in tournaments? What do you what do you attribute that to? Is it more teams defending you guys tough or to just still getting used to each other with uh, KO's offense? Um, probably a little bit of everything. You know, um, still trying to learn and figure out the flow and the rhythm of the game. but. Uh, a lot of it's, you know, just self-inflicted wounds, you know, that I think as players and as individuals, we know what we can do and be better on. So um, I think, you know, graciously, we all take accountability for our turnovers and what we have done on the court um, and, and held ourselves accountable to a higher standard. So um, we'll see how it goes this game. Has it been maybe more frustrating because you're a team that really hasn't turned the ball over as much, but these those two games in particular have kind of been maybe out of character, I guess, for how the season's been? Um, yeah, to an extent. You know, um, we're only human, you know, so you're only perfect. You can't, you can't be perfect. We're going to make mistakes, and, um, you know, and sometimes, you know, controlling the controllables, you have your little mishaps and missteps. So um, the pass is the pass, and we're just trying to stay present. Um, the, the worst thing that we can do is just grow from all of our mistakes. Those turnovers, is that what you see most standing out, you know, where you can improve on offense? Um, I mean, I think our offensive defense has been top five since post-All-Star, but our transition defense has been bottom five since post-All-Star. So um, I think uh, if we really hone in on the, on the transition, you know, getting back on defense and um, cleaning up just defensive glasses, I think we'll be in a very great state place and, um, you know, have a, the ability to, comp to compete. Does the fact that you're playing this kind of back-to-back -back set against the Hawks change the preparation, or is it still treated as any other regular season game? Um, it's treated as any other regular season game, but I mean, it's, this is these are far more important than the norm, mm -hmm. considering the standings and what we're trying to get to. So, um, I think the 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 intent, you know, as far as you approach the game, um, as far as practice and you know, getting your due diligence, sleep and whatnot, or watching film or whatever it might be, might be a little bit more heightened to an extent, but. Um, I mean, we, we just want to win at the end of the day. And we saw it with Cleveland earlier this year, but how can teams kind of experience a boost when their top guys go out? It seems like roles maybe get a little more defined. Guys, you know, jump at the opportunity. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, when you have opportunity that presents itself, people are, they have the attention, they have the time to, you know, put in that extra work, like, all right, you know, now I can maybe take a couple more shots or show my game, show my bag, or just show that I deserve to get some more minutes on, on both ends of the floor. So, um, you know, I think as a team, we're locked in. We're worried about us. We're not really worried about the Hawks as much. You know, we know what we have to do to stop them. We, we know what we have to consistently do on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, we're going to try and end up with a win. With the facilitating, and I know that also was a concern to, I think, season low and assist in the last game. What are you seeing that maybe you guys can do to try to get back to that free flow and sharing the ball that you guys want to play, especially with obviously Ben being back? Um, I mean, yeah, Ben definitely changed the dynamic of the game, but I think it all starts with defense. You know, our offense can't be predicated to how we play our defense. Um, and I think we just have to very just hone in on that defensive end. You know, I think if we do what we have to do on the defensive side, the game gets funner. You know, we start enjoying the game more. You know, we're not as pressured or tight as far as the offensive flow of the game. So um, I think if we really dine in and stay aggressive on that side, uh, the offense will flow itself. How much, how much fun is it to be at this 
position, but to have it in the home stretch where you can like try to find that rhythm and hopefully can get it in front of your fans that can probably help and be help. Um, I would say the stars are kind of aligning. You know, um, it's right there. You know, so it's really entire. It's, it's entirely up to us to really take this opportunity and, and run with it. You know, and start. You know, getting a couple wins and stacking our days and stacking the games on and on. So. Um, I'm very excited, very happy. I think um, the Orlando game kind of woke us up and you know let us know, yo, we got to pick it up as a team, you know. And um, I think as just players individually, we don't like losing like that as well. So um, we'll probably come in with with a more of, of a punch this this game coming up. What specifically was the message after that game? Because obviously, if you go back to maybe the Boston game, some of these losses have been by double digits. So obviously, Minnesota, the game was close for three quarters. But what has been the message with how that game maybe? woke you guys up as you said um you know they just played harder than us um, as far as effort and energy and um i think that's something that we can control on our end you know matching that energy if not um surpassing what they're doing so um just you know as players you know you don't like losing like that and especially when you're competitive so um i think as a team we know that we just got to bring that that force on both ends of the floor even on the bench our energy you know everything uh it means something the NBA did a lot of these kind of back-to-back -back games in one city uh, the year after the COVID break. As, as a road player, if you were on the Hawks' side, did you kind of like that schedule change? Would you like to see more of that? Um, yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, I treat every game like it's, like it's another game, so uh, it doesn't really make a difference to me, but uh, it's definitely interesting. It kind of creates a little uh, playoff atmosphere when you play a team back-to-back -back as far as you know, um, understanding what they're doing, their their playbook and how they're playing you as well, and you can continuously learn, uh, grow and learn. So um, I find it really interesting. I think the intensity might up, go up a little bit more because you're playing the team both times, and, you know, depending on how last game might have went, you know, this next game might even be more important. So, um, no, I, I, I've been enjoying it.